<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Juan Ozuna here and I hope you're doing well. I'm excited today because I get to do two of my favorite things, buying shoes and giving back. Let me explain what I mean. Uh, it's the holiday season and we know that uh, many people need help right now, especially during this pandemic where many people have lost their jobs. Many people are not able to work as much or to earn as much to help support their families. And as an educator, as, as many of the educators at my school have seen, many of our students and their families are, are really suffering right now. Um, they're struggling to make ends meet. And so there's a lot of programs at our school that are really doing some incredible things. They are reaching out to families. They're helping to provide food and uh, clothing and, and other necessities that these families might need. We have a lot of kids that have different situations due to the pandemic. A lot of the parents are not working or they're working part time or even they're working full time. But because now they they have the kids at home uh, the whole week, now they're spending money in other uh, necessities mm -hmm. so they don't have money to buy clothing or maybe they don't have uh, money for the to buy for for tennis but you know in the spirit of the holiday season right uh, there's a small group of us teachers and administrators who wanted to make this holiday season a little bit more special and and somebody who loves shoes who's really into shoes I'm really excited about this idea that we came up with which was to go out and buy some brand new snazzy kicks. Uh, the Mustang Angels is an uh, initiative that we're trying to help our kids, you know, our students and even students, uh, siblings with a uh, pair of shoes, a uh, pair of shoes that they, they really do need for this, uh, through this pandemic and this winter break. It's about helping students from our community and making sure they have some nice shoes to wear. So of course, right, as uh, I think about trying to get these shoes, there's a few challenges that present themselves. One of the big ones is that I'm looking for a size 14 and a half. Uh, most shoe manufacturers for their normal range of sizes only go up to about size 14. So getting a size 14 and a half is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. The other thing is that, you know, I don't, I mean, okay, I know what good style looks, right? Like I, but you know, in terms of what kids want nowadays, I don't know exactly what kids want nowadays. So we're gonna see what they got and we'll, we'll go from there. So, of course, I want to get something that looks really cool, right? Uh, but man, trying to find something that is a size 14 and a half, that's going to be a tall order, uh, pun intended. <laughs> okay. okay, so first day was a little bit tough. I went to a couple stores. They didn't have exactly what I was looking for, mostly in terms of the size of the shoe. Uh, and so I had to kind of switch tactics a little bit. I had to do a little bit of online research. Maybe I should have done this beforehand. So yeah, my tactics had to change quite a bit when it became difficult to find a size 14 and a half shoe. Started going on to different websites of shoe stores here in the valley, kind of going through their different inventory. I was using the size picker. Like I said, most of the shoe sizes in that range fall between either like 14 or size 15. So I figured I'd go with a size 15. I finally was able to nail down a few options. All right, guys, here we go. Attempt number two. I'm at Academy now. I think I'm hoping we should be able to find what we need here. Victory! All right, guys, victory! Finally, we got some shoes. We're ready to go. I really like them a lot. I think they're super cool. I think he's gonna like them too. So, this has just made me feel a whole lot better. Let me 
Mr. Jimenez. Why, why did you want to participate in this? Well, uh, growing up, I was actually part of uh, receiving shoes. Um, somewhere along the line, I decided to that this was right up my alley, and uh, I love the idea. So, yes, it's going for a good cause, and you can't say no to a good cause. It's super. All right, it's all love. Yeah. You know, there's a great saying, right, that in order to understand somebody, you need to walk a mile in their shoes. And trust me when I say that I, I've definitely walked in uh, those old uh, worn down shoes before. When I was growing up, uh, my family struggled and, and you know, God bless my parents, they did everything that they could to provide uh, as much as they could for their family of four children. And, uh, and I have to say that I never ever felt like I needed anything, um, but I did have some wants. Uh, I grew up in the era of the Air Jordans when they first came out in the middle 80s and uh, I was I was I have to admit my, my heart ached sometimes when I saw some of my friends walking around in their $120 brand new Air Jordan shoes uh, which I knew that my family could not afford at all and so I as a kid I remember how uh, it felt to have those that brand new pair of shoes and so I know how important it can be to have a nice looking brand new pair of shoes that make you feel good that make you feel confident and you kind of want to show them off and so I'm really excited to be participating in this I think I, I hope right that we will be able to bring a little bit of joy into the hearts of some of our students uh, during this holiday season. I really hope that this will help them feel better about themselves and they'll feel good about coming to school uh, looking fresh in their brand new kicks. So uh, just a little while ago, my principal, Mr. Alvarez, came by and dropped off uh, this beautiful uh, ornament here with a little note about the Mustang Angels and uh, lots of really wonderful comments on this card here. But the thing that sticks out to me the most is where it says, let it be a token of appreciation and a reminder of your contribution to those in need. And I think that right there is, is probably the biggest lesson from all of this. The biggest thing that I'm taking away from all of this, this idea that uh, this is the time of giving. And I think right now, as so many of us are struggling, um, it's hard to see that. And I hope that many of us will continue to think about giving. And I'm, I'm very humbled. I'm very honored. I'm, I'm I'm happy to be able to do what I can to help those, especially the, the students that I work with, the kids that I see every day who come in here and, and, and need a lot. And so, thank you. This is very beautiful. I consider myself very lucky to be a part of this organization of this, at this campus, Memorial High School. I'm really happy to be able to do something like this. And we love our students very, very much, and we always want them to feel good, and so, if you find a chance to give back in some way, I highly, highly encourage it. Uh, you never know what kind of difference you're gonna make in someone's life with even just a little gesture. So have a great holiday, keep the spirit up, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.